Number 81. As an instructor is preparing for an experiment, he requires 225 grams of phosphoric acid. The only container readily available is a 150 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Is it large enough to contain the acid whose density is 1.83 grams per mils? Okay, so basically we just have to figure out if this 225 grams that this instructor has will fit a 150 mil Erlenmeyer flask, or will it need a larger flask? So the question is, with this 225 grams of phosphoric acid, which is H3PO4, just so that you guys get into the hang of what your acids look like, you just need to know what is this volume, right? We should basically figure out how much volume this 225 grams of phosphoric acid will be, so then we can know what type of flask to put it in, whether a 150 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask is sufficient or big enough. And we could do that because they gave us the density, 1.83 grams per mils. So this is just a straight density formula. D equals M over V. Now, you guys should know that there's no, um, you know, specific units to use for density. They could come in all different units as far as whether it's grams per mil, gram per centimeter cubed, kilogram per liter. So you just got to be very careful as to what the units they give you. So this density is grams per mil. So that means the mass has to be grams. They have to match. Grams and grams have to match. And this volume needs to be in milliliters because these have to match as well. But it's cool. It's good because they gave me grams, 225 grams, and they gave me grams per mil. So in this case, this one is going to be 1.83 grams per mil. And they're telling us that it's 225 grams. So we just have to find out what this volume is. So... D equals M over V. We have 1.83 equals 225 over X. This is a cross multiplication because this is technically over 1. So this times this will equal this times this. So I will say 225 equals 1.83 x, and now we just have to get x by itself, so you guys know what to do. Divide by 1.83, divide by 1.83, this will cancel, and x, which is the volume, so maybe I'll just say volume, of this 225 gram phosphoric acid sample, 225 divided by 1.83, you get... 122.95, but we need three sig figs. So there's three sig figs here. There was three sig figs here. So your answer should have three sig figs. Remember your rules for multiplying and dividing. Um, so the one, two, and the two count, but the nine will tell me that this two needs to round up to a three. So the volume that is required for this 225 gram sample is 123 milliliters, and I say milliliters because this was in milliliters, so the unit will come out the same. So this, whoop, this is 123 mils. So that's the amount of volume that you will need for a flask. So the only container that this instructor had was 150 mil. Is this large enough? Well, the volume is only 123 mils. So it is large enough because the volume that is required is smaller than the actual flask that the instructor has. So it is large enough to contain the acid. This one was pretty straightforward. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, hope this helped if it did. Give us a like. Tell us about it in the comments. We love hearing from you guys. We'll see you guys in question number 82. Um, I can only imagine what it is, right? Probably more converting or density. Who knows? But I'll see you guys in number 82. Take care for now.